Se puede, se puede, we know we can do it, and we will do it with faith and with love. What we need to do is Latinos, you know, we're comfortable, we, let's get, we wanna stay home, but we need to get out there, right? The only way people are gonna listen to us, take us, and uh, um, really look into our power that we have. We are, somos muchos, we are a lot of Latinos, especially here in Grand Rapids, so let's use our voice. Let's use our voice for the people that don't have a voice yet and make sure that we vote for things that matter in our community. I want to say to the Latino community that it's very important to vote because these are difficult times. Uh, a lot of changes are being made. Um, this is a hostile environment to Latinos and to uh, immigrants, and it's really important that we come together on the issues that are important to us. Um, we are super important to the economy. We'll leave our children a much better world. And yes, I, I do believe that uh, people in, in our generation are starting to are starting to uh, understand the importance of politics and the and the power that we have when we collectively uh, use that that uh, voice. Lo que estamos queremos hacer ahora en este momento es hablar con toda nuestra gente que por favor salgan a votar. Es bien importante votar porque si no votamos la voz de nosotros nunca se va a escuchar. Siempre vivimos repelando que no tenemos nuestra voz, no que no tenemos a alguien que nos escucha. Si no votamos, no nos van a escuchar. So el voto es bien importante este noviembre que viene uh, para poder meter la gente que de veras necesitamos ahí, que nos va a apoyar, que nos va a dar la, la, la oportunidad de hacer algo con nuestro futuro. It's not only to make the difference, but to be the difference. And you know, you need to get out and vote. You cannot ask for a change if you're not prepared to be part of the change. Es bien importante que los latinos salgan a votar. Este, necesitamos un cambio, ver un cambio. Es muy importante que vayamos a votar. Que inviten a sus, a sus familiares, al tío, al primo, al hermano, que vayan a votar. When we think about everything that's happening around us, we can't control everything, but what we can do what we can control is if we decide to get out and vote, if we encourage our family members to, we really make it part of our culture. I think Latinos, we think about everybody else uh, but ourselves, and voting is a way that you can really ensure the future for not only ourselves, but for the kids and people that we'll never see in the future. Y quiero animar a toda la comunidad latina a que salga a votar. Es muy importante que si ustedes están en posibilidad de ejercer su derecho a voto, si están registrados, Eh, si, si son ciudadanos eh, americanos, por favor eh, salgan a las urnas y voten. En nuestros derechos cuentan en Estados Unidos y si nosotros eh, no, no salimos y simplemente nos quedamos en la casa, pues las cosas eh, nunca van a cambiar. There are many Latinos that can't vote, that would want to vote, but can't vote. So, eh, those of us Latinos that are able to, I think we have double responsibility to uh, let our voices uh, be heard uh, because of those that can't vote. Many of our ancestors fought for this right for us and um, every vote counts and be sure to educate yourself on the issues on the ballot and to bring your friends, neighbors. Learning more and more of the vote matters. If you are able to vote, we absolutely need to vote. And in between elections, we need to be active, whether it's with marches and making phone calls to our elected officials, um, writing letters and having conversations with our family and community. So there's a lot to do between voting, but voting is a key step. I think especially for young people to go out and voice their opinions, um, it impacts Latinos on a daily basis. Si sí se puede. Get out and vote. Si sí se puede. 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 Si sí se, sí se puede. Yes, we can. Si sí se puede.